God sent Jonah to Nineveh. Nineveh was a great city. It wasn't a village. It wasn't a market. It was a great city that had great people who were living in greatness. They were wealthy. They were rich. But because of sin, God was about to destroy them. They were about to perish because of their sin. The use of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. God doesn't want any one of us to perish because of the love of money, which is the root of all evil. But God wants each any one of us to enjoy life and have it in Abaddon. For God so loved the world that He gave His only and only begotten Son, so that whosoever shall believe in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ is the Word because in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Each and every one of us, we need Jesus Christ inside our life because He is the Word. Our Lord Jesus Christ saw the turn His disciples, and everyone else was listening to Him. You are clean because of the Word which has spoken to you. The Word of God is what makes to, is, is what tends to wash us. How can a young man keep his ways pure? By hiding the Word of the Lord inside his heart. And so to each and every one of us, we daily need the Word of the Lord. Hebrews 3.13, it says, Hebrews 3.13, which is our theme verse, it says that, let us encourage each other as long as it is today, so that none of our so that none of our hearts is going to be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. And so the way out of sin is by hearing the Word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out from the mouth of the Lord. Welcome. Jesus keep me near the cross, they are a precious fountain, free to all a healing stream, flow from Calvary's mountain, in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. From the cross, my ransom soul, nothing then shall ever save. Near the cross, a trembling soul, love and mercy found me. They are the bright and morning star, share its beam around me. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. From the cross, my ransom soul, nothing that shall save. Near the cross, O oh Lamb of God, bring his sins before me. Help me walk from day to day with the shadow before me. Near the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. From the cross, my ransom soul, nothing that shall save. Near the cross, I'll watch and wait, hoping, trusting ever, till I see my Savior's face, leave his presence never. Near the cross, I'll watch and wait, hoping, trusting ever. Till I see my Savior's face, leave his presence never. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. From the cross, my ransom soul, nothing that shall save. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. From the cross, my ransom soul, nothing then shall save. On the cross of the cross, I fast with the light, and the battle of my heart will away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I'm happy all the day. The beauty of the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross, so that each and every one of us shall find life and have it in abundance. So each and every one of us shall know that 
when we see the cross, we should all be following Jesus. We should be following our freedom. In that is for freedom's sake that Christ set us free. And so let us live in freedom. Let us live in liberty. Let us live a life of enjoying that which Christ paid for us to enjoy. Let us pray. Almighty and heavenly Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to dearly, Father, for this wonderful day are given to each and every one of us, dearly, Father. As I'm going to find sharing forth your word, O oh God, may you speak to each and every one of us, O oh God. May, each, may at the entrance of your word bring light and understanding to the simple, oh God. May we, may we be found living a life of being doers of your word and not only hearers of your word, O oh God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing. Let we find your God living a life of putting it into action, O oh God. For, for that's where, for, uh, let we find living a life of fixing our eyes on Jesus, for that's where the action is. Let your word be seen in our hearts and we are fruit in our life and these are prayer of faith that I pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, praise God. Shalom God. Shalom. Shalom. My name is Charlie G. This last of today. Thank you very much for tuning in for us last of today. I know and I do believe that each and every one of us are going to be found being blessed by the word of God as we're going to find coming forth to each and every one of us. So ready your heart and be ready for it. And so in the other Lord we did about Samson. Uh, Samson was a guy who fell in love with a lady. With a lady who was Alima Satan Lakozi Akarandi, Lami Satan Lakozi Akarandi, Iri Bala Zora Iri Ana, Kari Bala Kozi Ana, Aranda Iri Bala Zori Bala Katila Kali Katara Rara Iri Ana, Aranda Libo Zari Kala Korandi Iri Bara Rara Rara Iri Ana, Kende Iri Bana Zin Karamena, Rin Kalamena Zin Karamena, Rin Kalamena Zin Karamena, Ran Kalame Zere Kali Kazanto Iri Bala Satila Kian Karamena. Arin kala kozi eri bana, makara randeri bala, lisa kala kozi akaranderi bari osati, lakari kara randeri bana, randeri balo zari kara randeri bana, ring kara mena, kara mena, kara mena ka. We had to go for that spiritual break uh, so that we can hear, hear from God. Uh, in the book of Leviticus, we're gonna jump off the story of Samson. In the book of Leviticus, chapter nineteen, verse nineteen. I remember there was a, a month that I took in last year of sharing the double the double numbers, same chapter, same verse, same chapter, same verse, same chapter, same verse, uh, so that we can, so that we could be able to understand what uh, the year 2020 was all about. And if you didn't watch it, you can go ahead and look for it. <laughs> I can't I, I can't remember how I titled it, but I was focusing on uh, Second Corinthians uh, Second Corinthians 2020. Look at Double, 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 double numbers, double, double numbers. And in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 19, uh, what does it say? Leviticus 19, verse 19. And it says, I keep my decree, do not make different kinds of animal. Do not make different kinds of animal. Do not plant in your field with two kinds of seed. Do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of material. Do not wear, uh, do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of material. Which part do you like? I like the that part. Um, <laughs> even though my, my part of emphasis is gonna be on the seed part, do not plant in your field with two types of uh, with two kinds of seed, and that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. Uh, but let's jump off to verse: Do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of two kinds of material, two kinds of material, two kinds of material. And we all know about Joseph. You see, as a uh, this was a decree that God was giving to the children of Israel so that they can live a life of being be at, at, of, of being a distinction from all other nations. One time around, uh, the people were like telling Moses, uh, we want a leader, we want a leader. In that, they rejected God, and they wanted to be ruled with a leader like all other nations that were surrounding them. But that was not God, that, but that was not what God wanted for them. And that's also to each and every one of us as believers, as Christians, God wants us to live on living a life of being set apart, living a life of knowing that our portion is different from every other person. When other people are going to find saying there's a casting down, for each and every one of us are going to find living a life of saying that there's a rising up in the book of in the book of uh, Malachi talks about a distinction, uh, um, a distinction being made uh, of those of whom their names have been written, a distinction being made to each and every one of us living and knowing that we are the light and they are the darkness. Each and every one of us know that we are the righteousness of God and they are not the righteousness of God, living a life of that kind of thing. And so when, when Joseph got to be made a form, a coat of many colors, in that that was not to happen among the Israelites. That was not to happen in their land. Uh, because uh, because two colors uh, do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of material, two kinds of material. And so that was uh, that was what made uh, Joseph had the dream of him being a ruler, of him being a ruler. And uh, and in order for Joseph to be a, a, to be a 
to be a ruler that was not happening arima satala kereka ranada rebana that was the that was not happening in the land of egypt that was not happening sorry that was not happening in the land of canaan because uh, they had no leader there was no uh, monarchy there's no uh, such kind of thing in that they just live happy community the, uh, the blessed nation of god and the blessed nation of god god's god's own people that's how they are living and so and uh jacob had the 12 sons uh, which represent the 12 tribes of israel in that there's nothing like a ruler there's no one uh there's nothing like a ruler and then later on the father of joseph because he loved him i thought to each and every one of us linka ramena karinka ramena because of god's love for us in that we have been clothed with the garment of beautiful colors we have been clothed with the garments of beautiful colors in the book of rima satala kozian karamina kalamena rarade ribana i bet he's zechariah talks about uh, the priest and uh, the priest joshua the priest joshua had a garment which had been defiled and so the enemy had legal ground to come and attack him to come and keep him from being a firebrand and so what is gonna keep you from being uh, from living a life of being a firebrand is you having a garment that stink in the book of revelation john the uh, john the, Reve Re the revelator speaks and say that uh, he saw people having robes that were clean cars robes that were white as snow having been washed by the blood of the lamb having been washed by the blood of the lamb for what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood of jesus christ what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of jesus in that the power that lies in the blood of jesus the power that lies in the blood of jesus and so when joseph got to be made for the court that had many colors in the letter only he is get got to have the dream of the father bowing down before him the mother bowing down before him is still bowing down before him in that it was a thing of not of their land but of another land because he had do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of material in that for them that was that ought not to be uh, found happening but among the egyptian among all other nation it was good for them it was well with them and so what made joseph had the dreams is that his father was like aligning in that things were falling into place things were falling into place things were falling into place also to each and every one of us the garment that you are wearing is my prayer my heart desire by the garments which are white as snow and we're going to find having beautiful and wonderful dreams beautiful and wonderful dream and so here do not plant in your field two kinds of seed in that they ought not to be found being a mixing of the seed they ought not to be found a mixing of the seed and so when we are talking about i was talking about uh samson uh, samson went and he it was god's plan uh, you must obey all my decree do not mate two kinds are uh, two two different kinds of animal do not put your field with two kinds with two different kinds of seed two different kinds of seed also in the book of uh deuteronomy 22 11 say that do not wear clothes of wool and linen together do not wear clothes of wool and linen uh, well, wool and linen together do not plant your vineyard with two types of seed if you do the entire harvest will be defiled. Hallelujah. Rima Satala Karina. Deuteronomy 22:9. Rima Satali Kandi Ribarara Randi Ribanda. In that we need the Holy Spirit of God in order to understand the scriptures of God. The scripture. In that the word of God is God's breath. The spirit, God's breath. The word of the Lord was written by people, inspired by them, Holy Spirit. And so we need the Holy Spirit in order for us to understand what the word of God says. Because this are, are not feeble story. In the book of Deuteronomy 22, 9, it says that do not plant two types of fields, two types of seed in your vineyard. In your vineyard, if you do, if you do not only the crop you plant, if you do not only the crop crop that you plant, but also the fruit of, of the vineyard will be defiled, will be defiled, will be defiled. And so here we are seeing a warning. And so for me, uh, when I, I had, uh, it, it was early Sunday, Sunday morning, I had, uh, I had of Apostle Grace Lubega talking about this portion of scripture, not mixing of seed. In the last one, just in that I did not make to listen to their whole sermon because of waking up, going to church. But that has been something in my heart in that our investment in the money for God is for God, money for other things is money for other things. And so, each and every one of us living a life of having an account in that as slice of today, I'm gonna open an account for slice of today ministry and I'm, I'm gonna be found having my own account so that I cannot be found mixing in that I can have one that carries out my affairs and another that carries out the affairs of the ministry <laughs> i hope that you've got in it and so and so they defile me they defile me they defile me in the book of in the book of judges now we can we can safely go and safely turn to the book of 
I'm trying to see if there's any uh, for what relationship that's that's light have with darkness a lama karande for what relationship that's light have with darkness like just what relationship that that's light have with darkness and what relationship that's the godly and ungodly in that i'm still on regards to to you dear young couples in the book of judges in the book of judges so today i'm gonna find sharing about keeping a secret in that that's what i'm gonna find in that the things that lovers get to us as uh share with one another in that they ought to be found keeping it to themselves i remember one time around a friend of mine inbox me telling me a dm direct message me telling me i would like you to counsel me i'd like you to help me out because i i told out i spoke out the secrets which my girlfriend had told to me and she has in that the young man was feeling very 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 depressed very very depressed because of love love is very very powerful and it ought not to underestimate love in the book of Judges, chapter when it talks about Samson. Uh, in the book of Judges, chapter 14, verse Judges 14, verse Judges, for, Judges 14, 12. Say that, Let me tell you a riddle. Samson said to them, If you give me an answer within seven days of the harvest, I will give you that linen garment and that is sets of clothes if you cannot tell me the answer you must give me 30 linen garments and 30 sets of clothes the number 30 the number 30 tell us the riddle they said and so he ended up telling them the riddle and then in verse 16 then Samson's wife drew herself on him sobbing you hate me you, do, you don't really love me you have given me you have given my people a riddle but you haven't told me the answer. I haven't even explained it to my father or mother, he replied. So why should I explain it to you? She cried the whole she cried the whole seven days of the feast. So on the seventh day, he finally told her, because she continued to press him. And she in turn explained in the riddle. She in turn explained the riddle to her people, to her people. Before sunset on the seventh day, the men of the town said to him, what is sweeter than honey? What is stronger than a lion? Samson said to them, If you are not plowed with my heifer, you would not have solved my riddle. If you are not plowed with my heifer, you would not have solved my riddle. And so to each and every one of us, in that this ended up breaking and messing up the relationship that Samson was going to have with this lady. We are not told of her name. And that it was going to end up messing the relationship that Samson was going to have with this lady in that she let out the secret known to those of whom were pressuring her, telling her that if you don't tell us the, the meaning of the riddle, we're going to be found killing your father, going to be found burning your house. And so she was afraid for her parents. Uh, in the book of Judges, once again, in that she was afraid, afraid of her parent, of her loved one, and so she ended up telling the student, and it messed up. Uh, we all know that later on, uh, Samson went ahead and caught 300 foxes and sent them to the field, and they destroyed all the Philistines. In that, yes, I don't refuse that was the purpose of God, but I'm just talking in regards to relationship. In that, in order for a relationship to continue on being uh, being strong, in that secrets are important, secrets kept are kept between you two, and you having something special sharing with one another. In that, it ought to be kept. As so, I remember one time around at Nakuru, I I told a lady, I'm gonna take you out to this. I'm gonna take you to this hotel. We're gonna go together to the hotel. It looks classy. It looks nice. And then later on, one time around when. Uh, she disappointed me i was feeling all frustrated then i went to that hotel alone i ate <laughs> what i ate and then i i, w I w went away and then uh, we got back into good times to with one another and then i was like i already went to that hotel and then she's like why did you go without me why did you go without me then i'm like you got mad at me but you can go but you can still go there but she's like no 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 we cannot go there we cannot go there we cannot go there anyway <laughs> And uh, that was just uh, neither here nor there, as my brother likes to say. And so to each and every one of us, secrets are really important. And also we know of, uh, you see now here, now here the, uh, I'm going to have to turn uh, once again to the portion of scripture so that we can be able to see for the scheme of the enemy. Because that's how the devil ended up uh, messing up the relationship that was there between uh, between man and woman and God in that the devil, the devil, the devil in the book of and so we should be we should always be we should always be found being aware of the schemes of the, of the enemy not to be ignorant of his schemes in regards to forgiveness and also in regards to other things in the book of 
Judges chapter 11. Ah, sorry, Judges chapter 14. And it says that, verse 15, So on the fourth day, they said to Samson's wife, Cross your husband into explaining the riddle for us, or we will burn you and your father's household to death. Did you in, in, invite us here to steal our property? Did you invite here to steal our property? And so for her, she was like, I'd, I'd call you guys to like celebrate together with me, to like be happy for me. But she ended up, uh, but they ended up asking her a question. Did you invite us here so that you can rob us, so that you can rob us? You know, at times people are showing like in that when, when you're there, like, oh, I, I have my, uh, oh, I got engaged. Oh, I'm having this and this. In that those people who you are there celebrating together with them, and that they're going to be the same people who are going to be used of the enemy to like uh, try to divide you guys. I'm going to find one speaking to one of you, telling you, and even that person not good enough in that the voice of the enemy the voice of the enemy and that also we have seen happen, that happen in the life of adam and if the devil in that messed up what they were meant to continue on uh, enjoying it for long and so to each and every one of us i hope that you have got it to uh, to know and to see all the point that god has shared together with us about the seed not mixing of the seed in that uh holy with holy pure with pure those of whom have gone with those of whom have gone the righteous with the righteous what relationship does good have with evil and so since i see that we are having we still have our time in that let's turn our let turn with me to the section of scripture so that we can see what relationship that's that's light and so we should not be found forcing things and so also to what you should does light have with darkness in that they surely levels of light <laughs> they surely levels of light in that you know at times uh, someone may be a newly born again believer new football again christian in that the, the light they're going to find having is not as much as the person who has been praying and fasting in that when he talks about the blessings of the uh, the blessing of the uh, the blessing the benefit of, of of fasting talks about so that your light is going to find shining forth and that's a portion of scripture that my friend Jesse, uh, one time long, uh, showed it to me. And the beautiful thing about fasting and fasting and fasting is that you get to have more light, more light, more light. And who does it? I bet it's in the book of Isaiah chapter 58 where it talks about true fasting. Uh, turn with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 58. Yes, true fasting. And it says, at Isaiah 58, 8, and it says, and then your light will break forth, then your light will break forth. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear and so you're seeing here the beautiful thing about praying and fasting is that your light gets to shine forth and you get to be found having healing in that you get to be healed you get to be healed hallelujah then your rationness will go will go before you in that your rationness will go before you for god's kingdom not a matter of eating and drinking but a matter of freshness peace and joy in the holy ghost and the glory of god will be your real god the benefit of fasting in that earth not to be taken by surprise in the book of second corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 second corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 that's when you see about what relationship say that do not be do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do wretchedness and wickedness have in common or what relationship can light have with darkness what harmony is there between christ and Bel 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 belil or what does a believer have common with an unbeliever what agreement is there between the temple of god and the idols for we are the temple of the living god as god has said I will live with them and walk among them. I will be their God. They will be my people. Therefore, come out from them and be separate. I hope I hear yeah. Come out from them and be separate. Says the Lord, touch no unclean thing and I will receive you. And I will be your, to you a father and you will be to me my sons and daughter. Says the almighty God. Says the almighty God. And the beautiful thing is that God will never take back his word. God, whatever God says that... It's done. It's good as done. He's a man of his word. His word is already established in heaven. And so in order for each and every one of us to live a life of being established, he takes the word of God. And so that's a powerful way to end this, uh, this sharing. What relationship, what relationship in that God in our midst. How can a young man keep his way pure by hiding all the Lord inside his heart? And who shall assign unto the mouth of the Lord? Those of whom are having clean hands in a pure heart. So that's it for our slice of today. Is my prayer my heart is that, that you have been you have been liberated by the truth. May God bless you and keep you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Salam.